Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Sky Gardens. It is uh, one of the last episodes of this series, and in today's episode, we are going to take a look at a restaurant and the Lama Habitat. Now, the next episode, which will be the last one before the big tour, will focus on uh, a little bit of a different thing. Um, I, I did mess up. Well, I didn't mess up. I it changed my mind. So uh, it will be the saltwater crocodile and the Bengal tiger. I'm safe to say because I already built this. Uh, it is almost done. Just a few little things and some skyscrapers need to be fit in. So again, the little um, information here again, or just a reminder, in case you still want to send in some skyscrapers, you can still do so and you will find yourself in the memorial garden of this uh, wonderful skyscraper zoo. Now also one thing I wanted to mention quickly is if you want to consider bringing some of those in, um, I'm still lacking some more classical ones with a bit of uh, plaster or limestone or stuff like that or sandstone um, because a lot of those skyscrapers you guys send in are wonderfully designed, wonderful modern glass metal-ish things which I totally love but uh, to just get a bit more variation into the city um, face so to say it would be great to have some some sandstone stuff anyhow this is just like the little information dump also since i'm just going to talk about this uh, restaurant while we're doing the restaurant in the background um before we get actually to the llamas i want to give you guys a little bit of an info here uh, because i will definitely step back a little bit in the next uh, days from the amount of stuff we did here on the channel lately um, now i wanted to keep the amount of videos high i wanted to do it that way simply because people were in quarantine and people needed uh, the entertainment and, and could still watch it but not only from the numbers and from uh, the overall reaction worldwide you can tell that um, overall corona mess up is going to end now that said I definitely want to also make sure that I don't push out a video every single day. Uh, I will step back a little bit and I'm going to prepare some stuff. I will uh, change my overlay. As soon as we reach 40k people, I will change a few little bits and pieces about um, my video overlays and also my stream overlay. Um, I have prepared that for weeks already and it's just like a minor thing why I want to change it. But I will take some uh, time uh, to finish that up so I have it at hand. And I will still do my videos, but as we are ending this series over here and we are ending some other stuff, I uh, want to have the time to also investigate into some other games um, like the um, wonderful City Skylands, which I haven't been able to do ever since because of uh, all these issues I had with the game. It's just like very time consuming. Also, and that's the next point, obviously uh, my schedule is getting to be more filled uh, these days now with work and we will be uh, back in the agency next week. So that, that said, um, well, it's not me. Uh, I need to wait one more week simply because I don't have a car at hand at the moment. It's in the, uh, it's, it's uh, uh, to the repair service at the moment. Um, not because it's broken, but the, it's the, every two years in Germany, you need to pass uh, a test. Uh, it's called the TÜV and you need to get it through uh, in order to be allowed to still drive the car and it's just currently there um, and that's why I will need to stay at home one more week but then again after this week there will be agency work again that means uh, stuck in traffic jam that means more time on the road that means less time at home and also the very convenient lunch break recordings um, are gone uh, which is one of these things you you do not imagine how much time this saved me like honestly the, all these recordings um, I, I could do in my lunch break like half an hour recording and then just leave the game uh, or like leave the computer rendering while I'm sitting on the balcony and eat some stuff and then get back to work um, it really you really 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 don't notice that until you you have this now um, that you are like saving five to six hours a week which is ridiculous if you imagine how much time that would be in the evenings uh, to do some more stuff so eventually uh, if, uh, whatever uh, efficiently <laughs> God, <laughs> this is so bad. Um, in the end this will be uh, effectively exactly the time I will be missing um, and uh, there's no way I can I can cover this time uh, and yeah that's the simple reason I think I just explained that a few times already but I, I just thought it's a good thing to mention that again uh, just to prepare you guys don't worry at all it's not that anything happens or something it's just getting back to normality and I guess that's a very good thing um, yeah but we are doing a little bit of cool stuff here we are just doing a bit of a, of a um, uh, how's it called? Uh, like a, a self-service um, counter over here for the restaurant 
restaurant we do some uh, info boards where you can see what what's on the table what you can grab here and just put some drinks down and i had some little ideas what could go down here and uh, put some fruits and stuff just like you know something you could just grab there from the restaurant and yeah that's uh, pretty simple like nothing nothing crazy i just wanted to make uh, a little bit of a nice looking uh, detail here as i said it's just just here to to make a bit of a detail and nothing nothing really crazy you know also i found the scent marker to be very interesting as a kind of spices you know so i put this one down uh, to have a little uh, plate of spices um i could imagine and then i put down uh, these fences you would see in this kind of takeaway restaurant ish style also i think you have seen that i had a little gallery open in the middle uh, to make sure that there is a bit of light going in. Unfortunately, today there will be no real-time part at the end. I will bring this in at uh, one of the next episodes, mainly because I continued building and I don't have a save file where there's only the llama habitat in, which is a bit of a pity. But it doesn't really matter too much. We still have some solid 10 plus minutes of an episode today. And I really hope that you guys are going to like it. Now, um, this llama habitat over here is something rather simple, but I think it's very fitting. I wanted to have these animals in because they didn't get the attention they deserve. And so I was like, I need to bring them in. And I'm just doing a little bit of a very, very man-made temple build here. So you can really tell that this is made only for the llamas in here and not like a real temple. Uh, because again, as we also talked about this for the capuchin monkeys, it is uh, definitely not... Uh, it's definitely not um, very clever to put some real stones up on here. So this would all be like some plaster pieces or some uh, other stuff. Uh, I forgot the name again of, of the other material. But yeah, some, some very much light material that you use to make some fictional stones and fictional um, uh, stone pieces in real life as well to make sure that the, the weight is not so crazy. Um, and this is what I'm going to do here. I made um, this very central point where we'll build... We'll build... We'll build... We'll build... We'll build... We'll build... Oh God, what's going on today? I have some, I have some weird talking issues. A bubble. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, maybe because of the live stream yesterday. Too much talky talk in the live stream. Now, but this will be a central element where the llamas can sleep on. Um, it's very cool though that they are taking that really um, hands-on. Like they, they really went there in the first second and it's so cool to see how they use it. And uh, I'm quite happy that this worked out so well. But yeah, this whole habitat will be rather simple, as I said. Um, the llamas are a bit on display here in the front, but then they have also their little privacy area in the back where they can go into the building. And I also made sure that this uh, over uh, here, this area is not like too open uh, and too much in the sun. We also make like, as we'll see now, we make a little bit of a roof design here, making it look um, uh, quite cool, like quite um, kind of uh, put on top of it. It's, it's like something you would see in a real life uh, zoo as well, where you have these temple pieces, but then you build like a very solid uh, little canopy above it, uh, which is pretty simple. It's, it's nothing crazy, just like very much all of these uh, wooden pieces. And then as soon as you start putting the foliage around, it kind of comes together and looks rather nice. And yeah, you can see I'm using all of that to make it look a bit more jungle-ish. And especially from above, when you, you look at the hotel skyline itself from above, it looks really cool to have so much greenery in. And so this is also the reason why I'm not like really I'm not trying to avoid any uh, kind of uh, foliage over here. I'm trying to put in as much as I can in terms of foliage, uh, simply because I feel like this is the best idea to have. Also making sure that all of the rooftops here have some garden-ish stuff on top of them. Um, also to make it green, to hide the buildings away a little bit. And also in terms of uh, heat and um, temperature, this is rather important to have these kind of uh, things on top of the building as well. Um, this kind of guarantees that you don't run into some severe issues of, of heat problems and uh, that the shade is also really, uh, yeah, well, what you want it to be, shade that cools you down. So uh, that's the main reason for having it. Yeah, you can see I'm just doing like a bit of a cleanup here uh, so that the door frame is not, you know, completely lost and uh, just building a bit of a bit of a nicer uh, element here. You will be able to tell already that this whole area over there will be made available and will be easy for the people um, to to not be able to see him um, when they walk by. What the hell is going on with my English today? It's it's awfully broken. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry for the weird commentary today. It's, 
It's awful. Um, never mind. So uh, yeah, we, we're just doing a little bit of a change here with one of the existing um, habitat barriers. I'm using the one that we used already for the giant anteater. And I found this lattice pieces here that could be used quite nicely as a little fence. I made sure that it also has a frame because otherwise it kind of looks a bit uh, weird. And just making sure that you do have these things, even though Frontier did add the uh, capability of llamas being um, walkthrough animals now. Uh, it kind of um, came too late for this design and I don't want to change it. So I, I left this open as a, an area where you only look at the animals. Even though I would have loved to have like a bit of an open area where they can pet the llamas. But you know, as of now, uh, it is only to look for the people. And I think it's fine. Uh, I'm just going to make this, this area over here like a, a window, as you will see in a bit, like a glass wall, just to make sure that they have a nice view towards the temple. Nothing crazy, just put some, some rocks uh, down there to make it look nice and then blend it all with the color. I just like, I really like the painting with the uh, texture tools. It really looks cool in, in time lapse. I was also thinking if I could make like a real painting uh, with the texture, even though the one issue is that the texture is not like it's not sharp enough, like they blend in all very nice, but you cannot really draw some sharp lines. So that might be the only reason why I'm not doing this. But yeah, it's it's rather cool. It's kind of cool how you can paint in the game and work with some shadows and stuff. But yeah, as you can see, I'm, I'm putting quite a few llamas in here just to make sure that there is enough. Uh, going on and we have enough llamas uh, roaming around. You can see also that I'm using uh, quite a bit of uh, foliage in here uh, just to make sure that it all looks a bit more overgrown. I kind of like the fact how it is um, uh, dropping down over the edges of the building. It makes the whole building look not as clean, not as natural, not as normal. Uh, well, it does make it look natural, but not as, as made up. Uh, this is what I meant. Yeah, as always, the animals have a bit of an issue <laughs> before they start moving. I think it's the way how the game calculates it. And again, this has also been changed in the latest patch. Now the calculation is already taking place while the loading screen. And there's a little hint now that this works. So yeah, it's rather cool to know. But yeah, here at the end of the episode, uh, you see something that I have been uh, starting to do before we went to the uh, new saltwater crocodile house, which you will see in the next episode. I started to cover up these little uh, blank spots here that were still open and I made a little bit of a, a covered up for the floor, which is the last thing we are doing. And then in the next episode, you will see how this finishes up and how the Bengal tiger and the uh, saltwater crocodile habitat will look like. Uh, it's going to be quite a long episode, number 10. Maybe we even have a guest uh, for this episode, who knows, but maybe uh, for the tour at the weekend, I'm not sure yet, but maybe I'm, I'm going to get a guest for this one, for the commentary, but yeah, we will see. Now, um, yeah, that's been it. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Uh, I certainly did, even though I had some weird issues with my English talky talk today. Um, again, the little reminder, guys, if uh, you like to contribute to this project, make sure to send me in a skyscraper. You can go to my Discord channel down below and put it in. Also, if you want to see some new screenshots, teasers and stuff, I highly recommend to check out my Instagram too. I'm, I'm doing some more stuff lately, also some more private stuff. So if you want to know what I'm doing in between, you can check this out as well. Link is in the description. And have a good time, guys, as always. See you then. Goodbye. Happy hump day.